Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we are just going to go over another feature of JotForm. Specifically, we're going to show you guys how to change the warnings that might appear if someone doesn't answer a required section. So as you guys might know, you can actually set the section so that they're required depending on whatever you might be needing. And just in case you don't know how to do it, in order to make a section required, you just have to select the question in this case, hit properties, and there's a required toggle button right here, which you can hit so that it is required. Now, as you might know, there's usually a preset warning for sections that are not completed, but let's say like, what if you want to spice it up and make it something completely unique to your forms or your company brand? Okay, so let's just head over to settings. And as you can see, it immediately brings you to form settings. Now, as you it's not a lot already being said, but if you were to hit show more options, a whole bunch of other options will appear. And at the third on the list is form warnings. As you can see, you can actually edit the warning messages on your form. All you gotta do is hit that edit button. And as you can see, they already have all the possible warnings set up for any type of question. So we have it for form errors, validation, text area, email, whatever it might be needed you can then change the corresponding error message. So in this case, we only have a name and email one. So let's head over to the required fields. So let's just here. This is the first one we're gonna to wanna to edit, which is a required field. So let's just make it a little bit more personalized. Oh no, please try entering the answer. Okay, and if it is at least one field is required, please answer at least one of the fields of this. Okay, and then we're going to head over to email because as you might remember, we actually asked for an email address. Where we're going to be okay, enter a valid email address. And no, please try entering an email address. Okay, so now that you've edited all the corresponding sections that might have possible errors, which in our case was the email and the required section because you're only asking for name and email, just scroll down to the bottom and hit save changes. Remember, if you don't hit this button, none of your changes will be saved so it won't appear on your final published form. Okay, so we've done it. We've fixed the error messages. Let's just take a look and see how this would look like from the perspective of someone answering your form. So just preview that real quick and try to submit. And as you can see, our edited error messages are now appearing on the empty brackets. And if you would just change. And so that, as you can see, it disappears immediately. Build them error doesn't leave them unless you actually answer everything. And voila, that's how you do it. Hopefully, this helps you better manage your data collection. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to chat form, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.